everyone this is not a drill the beginning of fazbear ends in roblox has released a brand new badge this badge is called the fetch badge and i know what you're thinking but gallon well first off what is that on your head and i'm glad you asked i released a brand new head item and this is it i know this has nothing to do with my channel or being a knight like the rest of my stuff and if you're tired of it i know i will get rid of it after today's video and by get rid of it i mean i'll just stop wearing it in videos but you will be able to grab it from my store in roblox so definitely check it out if you like it it's got little strong arms on the side it's got very big good lips and a big eye so what's not to love about it but anyway the other question you might be asking is isn't there already two fetch game passes and there are so i don't know how this badge is different so that is what we're gonna find out today the description of the badge is you found the pieces and put him back together you've unlocked two versions of fetch so to get this badge you want to teleport over to freddy fazbear's pizza and then when you're in the map go straight towards or straight down the road then turn right when you see the mailbox truck and turn left when you see this alleyway with this man mysterious stranger in front of this black car right here you'll know it's correct when he has the red uh question mark above his head then you interact and all this text will start to appear i'm not gonna read all of it you guys can go ahead and you know do that if you want or if you just want to get straight onto the badge basically all he wants is to go to this pizzeria this abandoned location with you and you want to grab the animatronic parts and he's like sure why not i don't care i doubt they're even still there then after this final text box you will be teleported to a different location a different game then you have your instructions talk to the stranger find all six pieces of fetch before the time runs out they're located inside the pizzeria now this is the hard part so you have to go in after talking to him again when you're done so you can't enter now because i didn't talk to him when you're done talking to him a 60 second timer will appear you have 60 seconds to find all six parts they don't move they are in the same locations every time you do have to click on them uh what that means for you if you're on tablet or phone i don't know but for me since i'm on desktop i have to left click them and it is very dark what is happening that is weird uh so you do need your flashlight in there as well so it is a little bit more difficult because i do have to have my flashlight out and if i click it it goes away so i need to put the flashlight away click it pull the flashlight out it's kind of hard not gonna lie so let's see how many attempts this takes me and let's talk to him he has like three lines the car's been totaled i love to help you look around i have other things to attend to the door is open feel free to look around and here we go 60 seconds let's go go inside where's my flashlight i can't see the first part is right next to this cupcake uh i don't have it i'm already gonna lose i can feel it the next part is behind the prize counter and then we're gonna go behind this bear stacked behind the boxes in the bathroom right here i got it off the sink and then there is one in this party room under the table i grabbed it and now we're gonna go back behind the bear into this hallway over here i have 30 seconds this might be possible we're gonna go on top of there i definitely feel like i missed one which is unfortunate uh did i miss one i did miss one i don't know where it's at uh oh this is not looking good we have 10 seconds come on where is it where's the part uh oh i was so close that is unfortunate but luckily even if you don't get all of the parts there is a bad ending you can get i fixed the car i think we should leave and then once you start heading towards the door a cut scene will happen and here you go that's a big explosion what caused that what happened oh there's some police sirens thank goodness we're gonna be saved uh-oh 
What is that? What are those eyes? Oh, look, it's Fetch. He's coming to save us. Thank goodness. He's a hero. Fetch, you're getting a little close. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Did Fetch explode the car? Where'd he go? Oh, we're in the pizzeria. Oh! He dragged us in and ate us. What happened to him? And then, last but not least, you were kicked from the experience. What's happened? And then, you just get kicked out. And if you lose, you do have to restart that whole thing over again. You do have to go back into the game, talk to the guy, and go back in and try again. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, that was attempt number one. Let's go back in for attempt number two. All right, everyone. I finally found the final fetch part after so long of searching. So, there are six parts. One on the crate, prize counter, sink, under the table, on the arcade, and in the other party room. So, let's go ahead and go inside. Here is the one on the crate. Then the party room is right behind it. And then we want to go over behind the stacked crates. Go into the first party room. Go under the table for the head. Go into the bathroom sink for the leg. Then right up here is the part I missed. Uh, there it is. Did I get it? There we go. We got it. And now we could go all the way back into here and get the final part, which is on top of the arcade cabinet. And there we go. Storm's starting to get crazy. I fixed the car. I think we should leave now. And now once we start walking towards the car, oh, it explodes anyway. So whether we got the parts or not, it exploded. Wait, what? What? Is Fetch gonna eat us still? Fetch, no. Fetch, we got the parts. You can't eat us. Fetch? Oh. Where are they? Oh, okay. It is different. Okay. Oh, no. They found Fetch. Oh! And there we are. We got the badge. The Fetch badge. And there we are. We are Fetch now. It looks like we have become Fetch. So that is how you get the badge. But now I'm going to go become Fetch. So let me go ahead and reset and rejoin the game so I can become this animatronic. We're finally back in the game. So now let's go ahead and go to badges and let's go find the brand new Fetch. Luckily, there he is directly to the right and you get two of them. So let's go to this one first. It looks like just a very put together fetch, all fixed up. We have the little keypad here. We have the little collar and it's just a normal dog. Nothing creepy or terrifying about this fetch at all. Just a perfectly normal dog. See? But anyway, for fetch, we have a disable. We have a jump scare. Sounds like a Pokemon. We have evil pupils. We have eye color. We have endo pupils. Remove pupils entirely. And then we have... Oh, wait. Let me add those back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have I done? We have a twitch. We have perform. Eyelids. Jaw. Lay. Ah, oh, what a good boy. And then we have wide eyes. And there you go. There is the first fetch. Is that a jet pack? Oh, maybe it's not a jet pack. Maybe it's like a battery pack. That probably makes a little bit more sense than what I was saying. But either way, there is the first fetch. So now I'm going to go ahead and reset and check out the second one. T-Pose. The second fetch is in the same room as well. When you become it, it does look a little bit different. It's kind of withered but not really too withered. Just a couple little damaged areas. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I wonder how different the abilities are. Also, both of them do have a night vision, which I didn't check out on the other fetch. So we have a disable again, a jump scare, 
uh, evil pupils. It does look very similar. I think the only main difference is going to be the little damage markings on it. But since we're here, I am going to check out everything. Uh, you know, because why not? Because we're, we're already here. Uh, then there's the perform, of course. I do like that the jaw is like slightly behind the head. Makes it the animation seem a little bit more, I don't know, lifelike, I guess is the right word. Uh, we have jaw, lay, and then wide eyes. And there you go. There are both of the fetches. And that's how you get the badge. But really quick, before I end the video, I did want to see one more thing here. I did want to compare both of these fetches to the old model. Or not the old one, the Game Pass model, I guess we could say. So I am going to reset again. T. So let's go in the Game Pass section over here. Okay, so I definitely see the difference here. So now we have so many different kinds of fetch throughout this game. You have the complete version. You have the sort of damaged one. You have this one who's shattered. Then you have the endo. And then you have the golden endo. So this game definitely has a bunch of new fetches for you. If that's your favorite animatronic, you're in luck. But anyway, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And buy the new alien space head. I don't know. If you want. It's kind of cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's it. Use star code gallant when you're buying Robux and stuff. I don't know if I said that or not. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, whatever that is. Uh, Friday. Or Thursday, Friday. I forget when I scheduled it. It's one of those days. Until next time, bye.